Italy's rich herb and garlic infused slow cooked pork is one of the world's best street foods. We've transformed it into a perfect holiday roast for company. Grind three tablespoons of fennel seeds in a spice grinder or mortar and pestle until finely ground. If fennel seeds are unavailable, substitute with a quarter cup of ground fennel. Transfer the ground fennel to a food processor. Add one half cup of fresh rosemary leaves, a quarter cup of fresh thyme leaves, 12 peeled garlic cloves, one tablespoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. Pulse the mixture until finely chopped, 10 to 15 pulses. Add one half cup of extra virgin olive oil. Process until a smooth paste forms, 20 to 30 seconds. Using a sharp knife, cut slits spaced one inch apart in a crosshatch pattern in the surface fat of one trimmed five to six pound boneless pork butt roast, being careful not to cut into the meat. Pork butt roast is often labeled Boston butt in the supermarket. Look for a roast with a substantial fat gap. Cut the roast in half with the grain into two equal pieces. Turn each roast on its side so the fat cap is facing away from you, the bottom of the roast is facing toward you, and the newly cut side is facing up. Starting one inch from the short end of each roast, use a boning or paring knife to make a slit that starts one inch from the top of the roast and ends one inch from the bottom, pushing the knife completely through the roast. Repeat making slits spaced one to one and a half inches apart along the length of each roast, stopping one inch from the opposite end. You should have six to eight slits, depending on the size of the roast. Turn the roast so the fat cap is facing down. Rub the sides and bottom of each roast with two teaspoons of kosher salt, taking care to work the salt into the slits from both sides. Rub the herb paste onto the sides and bottom of each roast, taking care to work the paste into the slits from both sides. Flip the roast so the fat cap is facing up. Using three pieces of kitchen twine per roast, tie each roast into a compact cylinder. Place one tablespoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda in a small bowl and stir to combine. Rub the fat cap of each roast with the salt baking soda mixture, taking care to work the mixture into the cross hatches. Transfer the roast to a wire rack set in a rim baking sheet and refrigerate uncovered for at least six hours or up to 24 hours. Adjust your oven rack to the middle position and heat the oven to 325 degrees. Transfer the roasts fat side up to a large roasting pan, leaving at least two inches between the roasts. Cover tightly with aluminum foil. Transfer to the oven and cook until the pork registers 180 degrees, two to two and a half hours. Remove the pan from the oven. Increase the oven temperature to 500 degrees. Carefully remove and discard the foil and transfer the roast to a large plate. Discard the liquid in the pan. Line the pan with foil. Remove the twine from the roasts. Return the roast to the pan directly on the foil and return the pan to the oven. Cook until the exteriors of the roasts are well browned and the interior registers 190 degrees. 20 to 30 minutes. Transfer the roast to a carving board and let rest for 20 minutes. Slice the roast one half inch thick, transfer to a serving platter, and serve.